Now to a new documentary looking at vaccine hesitancy in communities of color. It's part of a project put together by the Ad Council and it aimed to dispel myths to help educate and get more people vaccinated. Kenneth Moten has the story for us this morning. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Michael. We know the name Tuskegee brings so much pride to families across this country, but it's also associated with a horrible syphilis experiment against hundreds of black men. Now we're hearing from the descendants of those men who say don't use their story as an excuse not to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Step in my shoes. A new effort to get more black and brown people protected against COVID-19 is reaching into the past. I've interviewed several people of color, black people about vaccine hesitancy. And the word I kept hearing over and over again, Tuskegee. There's no doubt it has played a pivotal role in undermining vaccine confidence among many in the black community. The 40 year government study of untreated syphilis in African American men, also known as the Tuskegee syphilis experiment, is arguably the most infamous and unethical biomedical research study in U.S. history. Researchers told 600 black men, nearly 400 who already had syphilis, that they would get free medical exams and meals. Instead, despite penicillin being widely available in the early 1940s, the researchers studying the long-term effects of the disease gave the men no treatment at all. Many died. Now, using the voices of the descendants of some of the men in the Tuskegee study, this new short-form documentary, From Tragedy to Triumph, is trying to dispel widely believed myths to help educate and vaccinate black people today. They were not being treated. That is very different from what's happening with COVID-19. The vaccine is being made available to anyone who wants it. As the coronavirus disproportionately impacts communities of color, the CDC reports only 22.5 percent of black Americans are vaccinated. Lack of access, barriers and hesitancy, all factors. I think in communities of color where we've, we've seen systemic inequities in the health care system for decades, you know, it makes even more sense. At the core of hesitancy is trust. As the COVID-19 vaccines become available. That new film released by the Ad Council and COVID Collaboratives is Up to You campaign was created by award-winning filmmaker Deborah Riley Draper. Deborah, I noticed a number of women are behind this project, specifically black women. This project is about black women who are filmmakers, black women who are producers, advertising creative directors, advertising owners coming to the table and saying, in our community, there is a concern about the vaccine. The film also making this undeniable connection. As a result of what happened to these men, it changed the course of American clinical research. What they contributed impacts everyone and, and impacts us in a way that makes our lives and our relationship with our bodies better. And that's their legacy. The poor treatment of those men in Alabama led to strict regulations like informed consent and review boards for studies with human subjects, standards that help create the COVID-19 vaccine we have today. Coverage of that documentary and Ad Council initiative continues later today on our ABC-owned stations. Michael. And Kenneth, as we saw, hopefully this project builds trust in the vaccine mm -hmm. and the black community. Thank you so much for bringing that to us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.